everyone so this is part 6 of carbon chemistry but uh, it will be convenient for you if you watch the previous video so that you can understand this video properly okay and for the playlist link you can check it in the description box or click on the link right now appearing on the screen top right corner okay so for the activity of carbene these four reactions among these cyclo addition reaction we have already discussed in the last video okay so after this cyclo addition in this video there will be insertion and dimerization so these two reactions we will now see fine so insertion reaction if you look at this picture this is general representation of insertion of carbene here we have carbene this molecule and a and b suppose there is a single bond between a and b these two atoms and this bond between a and b will be broken and carbene will be inserted in between a and b so that is insertion and dimerization that is very simple two carbene molecule if they are not finding any other substrate to attack now they themselves they can dimer they can make a dimer okay so that is dimerization so what is insertion in insertion reaction of carbene it may be insertion to ch bond it may be oh bond or nh bond any type of bonds can be broken and in between these two atoms carbene will be inserted fine the mechanism of this reaction is totally different and that depends on the spin multiplicity whether you have taken singlet carbene or triplet carbene so insertion of uh, ch insertion to ch bond here you can see this structure this is the carbene carbon and here we have this ch bond now this ch bond will be broken and carbene will be inserted in between this carbon and hydrogen and we will get a newly generated ch bond as you can see here next example we have r3ch so this ch bond will be broken this ch bond and carbene will be inserted and we will get so this is ch2 part of carbene which is in red color now it is in between carbon and hydrogen okay next example insertion to nitrogen hydrogen bond so this carbon is actually carbene carbon and this NH bond that will be broken and the carbene will be inserted so this is the newly generated bond between uh, carbon and nitrogen this is the newly generated bond okay so we are getting a cyclic type of structure insertion to OH bond so in this case we have CH2OH that is methanol first this lone pair of oxygen it is going towards CH2 because carbene is electron deficient so here the mechanism is addition of oxygen's lone pair into the empty p orbital of the carbene so once this process is done we are getting a elite type of structure so elite type of structure is basically where positive charge and negative charge they are side by side now this ch2 it is actually carbonyl so this will capture this hydrogen finally we are getting ch3 o ch3 so this hydrogen it is now here and it is ch3 group that is methyl now in this case the example that you are seeing here we have chiral center c star we have taken singlet carbene now when it is singlet carbene generally insertion will be in a single step with retention of configuration that means if the uh, this chiral center it is r it will remain r if it is s it will remain s because in singlet carbene here we know the two electrons their direction opposite to each other and when the ch bond is broken their direction is also opposite so these two electrons they can match with each other and in a single step this ch bond will be broken and this cc newly generated bond this ch that is also newly generated bond and ultimately we are getting ch3 so only this ch2 part that is coming from carbene and one of this hydrogen that is already present in the substrate so here retention of configuration is uh, possible fine but when it is triplet carbene now the direction of these two electrons they are actually towards same side so they are now behaving as radicals fine so they first abstract the hydrogen from the ch bond because as you can see in the previous case these two electrons their direction already opposite but now it is towards same side so that is the reason first this hydrogen is captured 
now it is behaving as if it is CH3 dot and then this CC bond formation that will be taking place. So with the combination of these radicals a new CC bond is formed. Now whenever this process is occurring another thing can also occur which is this racemization. Okay. So because of this isomerization now the configuration will be changed because for as it is not single step unlike the previous case as it is taking some time so in between some isomerization process can also take place and when this CH3 is finally combined with this radical now there is already the configuration is inverted okay so when it is chiral substrate this type of retention or racemization both are possible depending on whether it is singlet carbon or triplet carbon. Now tertiary CH bonds are primarily preferred because obviously we know whether it is carb carbocation or radical in both cases it, if it is tertiary it is more stable so that is why its formation is preferred. The next reaction of in today's video dimerization reaction of carbon. Now this process will occur when carbons they are not finding any reagent with which they can react. So in the environment no other substrate is available. So what they will do they can dimerize to fill this electron gap because they are electron deficient and they are not finding any substrate. So they have to react with each other fine and ultimately they will turn into olefin. So here this general picture we have already seen in the first slide. So this reaction you can also consider as if it is unwanted side reaction but it in depending on the situation it can be a synthetic tool also because if this type of olefin structure is we are trying to prepare then we can take the help of this uh, side reaction though it may be in some cases unwanted but in some cases it may be important also. So here you can see the example we have taken two dimethoxy carbene. So this is carbene carbon both side we have OME group and uh, here these dots are not there but this is carbene carbon. So in these two molecules they are dimerizing with each other ultimately we are getting this CC double bond and both side of this carbon there are two OME group at the same group uh, are present. So it is tetramethoxy ethylene. Ethylene is CH2 double bond CH2 it is the tetramethoxy derivative. Next example, uh, now this carbene it is on the right hand side because there is equilibrium sign so whether we are writing it on the left or right it does not matter. So two of this car carbene, so this is the carbene carbon, now they are dimerizing so we are getting this CC double bond. So that is all about insertion reaction and dimerization reaction, okay. So in the next video the last reaction which is left that we will discuss. Uh, discuss. I will meet you in the next video. Thank you for your time.